My name is Chandler Fulton. I'm here to talk to you about Rogue Screen Connect installations and how Huntress Managed Security Platform can help protect you against those. Now the thing about Screen Connect is, I want to be clear, it's not a malicious tool. It is legitimate software, but what we're talking about today is that software being used maliciously. By itself, Screen Connect and other remote access tools like TeamViewer, AnyDesk, or similar ones can allow you a lot of powerful admin level functions on an endpoint. And the thing is, they bypass traditional antivirus solutions because they are legitimate. Antivirus is not going to flag these in any way. Uh, they can even bypass an unmanaged EDR solution, especially if you use Screen Connect internally. So if you are using an EDR tool but not having it managed, that means there's a chance that that Screen Connect installation that is malicious can bypass your security team's alerting. Just to give you some context as far as the Huntress Threat Ops team and what we've seen out here in the wild. Let's take a look behind the scenes and see how the Huntress Threat Ops team can help protect you against these otherwise malicious installations of legitimate software. First and foremost, Huntress benefits from something we call global prevalence. Now, the idea of global prevalence is, let's say that you are managing a network uh, or a security tool or like an EDR. You have a baseline of whatever the size of your network is, whether that's 50 endpoints, 200 endpoints, 1,000 endpoints. You have an idea of what the baseline is for that many endpoints. So that would be a, but that's your local prevalence. With Huntress's Threat Ops team, we have the global prevalence, which gives us over 2 million endpoints worth of data around what is legitimate and what is not. And so when we see things uh, like a malicious or a rogue Screen Connect installation, we have a lot more context to determine whether it is actually malicious or not, which gives us a much higher degree of fidelity with whether these are malicious. Beyond that, within each Screen Connect installation, uh, there is actually a callback uh, to the specific domain that is managing that. This is actually one of the main things that allows us to determine whether an installation of Screen Connect is legitimate or not, even when you use Screen Connect internally. If you use Screen Connect internally, it is going to your specific domain. But if a malicious one is being installed, it's going to be calling to a different domain. That kind of data is available to us in the process data that we're pulling in our EDR tool. And it's the kind of data that triggers our threat ops team uh, to investigate further and confirm whether this is malicious or not. And so using domain reputation analysis, we can actually determine that this is probably not a legitimate domain here. Now beyond actually sending the incident reports and validating that these Screen Connect installations are malicious, Huntress also validates the rejections that come our way. In any other unmanaged EDR tool that you're having to take care of yourself, if you reject an alert that comes through, that's the end of the story. Whereas with Huntress, because we have our humans validating these rejections, you actually get the additional assurance of if you reject something that is actually malicious, our humans on our threat ops team will push back on that and let you know this is actually malicious. Let's look at this evidence very directly and see where it's calling to, where it was installed, the context and everything that gives our threat ops team the intelligence they need to determine that it is malicious. So at the end of the day, Huntress is how you save time on your technical resources to keep them from validating false positive alerts or just needing a 24 seven security team all the time. With Huntress, you get that 24-7, 365 expert security operations that f with hackers.